Hi, uh, just thought I'd drop on and uh, do another video. Um, this one's about the um, my recent visit to the Fremont factory in California while I was on uh, on holiday. Um, the whole Tesla thing and Fremont started really when we was actually um, coming out of the airport uh, at San Francisco, and uh, no sooner we came off the, the from the airport area onto the uh, the freeway into San Francisco. Um, the number of Teslas you actually saw actually changed dramatically to what you get actually got per, compared to the UK. So we'd already seen straight away um, a Model S and a Model X, uh, and then a little bit further down the freeway, coming in the opposite direction, was a, um, a transporter full of um, uh, S's and, and X's. Uh, so that's something you don't see in the UK. Um, so really that area around around uh, Fremont San Francisco is really a uh, Tesla city I mean I, I often um, in the UK play a little game when, when we're traveling with a wife and I just uh, spot the EV so you're driving along the motorways in the UK and uh, you know sometimes you're hard pressed to actually see a Tesla or a Nissan Leaf or anything like that um, but certainly it's, it's an easier game to play in, um, in, in California you, know, you see a lot more cars um, so yeah, it really is Tesla City in in uh, in that area. So we um, we got up um, uh, on the the weekend, and from San Francisco, it's probably about an hour hour and a half drive across the the bridge to the Fremont area. Um, and uh, the factory is is um, pretty huge to be fair. When you actually see it, it's absolutely a humongous place. Uh, with uh, masses of cars parked out and bear in mind this is with the weekend there were lots and lots and lots of, lots of cars parked everywhere um, some Teslas but what it tended to have was it almost had a perimeter road go out, going past the factory um, which anybody can drive on in effect uh, and um, a security gate like most factories do um, but they said the strange thing was that when you actually turn into the security gate and, and turn up to the uh, the show, uh, the, the sales room, and there were uh, two rows of, of uh, superchargers and a lot of them were actually filled by um, customer cars that just basically turn up and charge their cars with free supercharging. Um, and they're all different models, early Model S's, X's, etc, etc. Uh, so that was quite interesting. Uh, we got there just before um, the showroom door opened, obviously I think it's about 10am, something like that. But the uh, the showroom, uh, incredibly accommodating. Uh, we actually got speaking to one guy in there who was actually a, a young Spaniard who actually lived in the in California. Uh, and he's, even though you know I, I have a Model Three on reservation, uh, he you know couldn't give me enough of his time just talking about all the cars etc etc. Uh, and fantastic. Um, one thing that's quite interesting, they do have. Uh, their own blend of coffee so uh, I got a cup of Tesla blend uh, coffee which is quite good. Um, what I did notice was some people actually were, were going on the factory tour um, but as I found out before I went you couldn't go on the factory tour uh, unless you actually own a Tesla. So um, now I've got a Model S on order. Um, at some point I would hopefully get back um, to that area if not with work. Uh, and I'll try and take advantage of a uh, you know a factory tour, which will be I'm sure will be very very interesting. Um, but the main reason for going to the Fremont factory was see the Fremont factory, which uh, which was good. Um, uh, it's almost like a mecca for for cars, but a bit crazy. Um, and then to hopefully see a Model Three, you know the holy grail of cars, a Model Three, and obviously we haven't got them in the UK yet. Um, but I was hoping to see one. Um, we were there probably about an hour hour and a half, hoping to. To see a Model 3 turn up onto the parking lot or anything, but uh, we didn't do unfortunately. Uh, so we decided to cut our losses and, and drive back to San Francisco. So we uh, set off outside the factory, past the security gate, and uh, lo and behold, as I'm driving back to go towards the freeway, I spotted a car in the distance and sort of instantly recognised this as being a, a Model 3, so he actually came past me, uh, which I did a quick U turn. Um, went back into the parking lot um, and uh, jumped out of the car with the camera and uh, spoke to the guy who actually owned the car uh, very briefly. Um, he was actually an employee um, 
and I just asked him, how do you like the car? A bit of a stupid question, really, to be fair, but I said, how do you like the car? And he actually said, I love it. It's brilliant. Uh, I've just built it. Um, so literally the guy had um, literally just picked the car up off the, um, the production line in effect uh, and uh, drove it. And it was a gorgeous looking car. So I did record some footage uh, from around the car. Um, so I'll put that at the end of this video, which you can have a look at. And I've also uh, took quite a few uh, photos around the car with the camera, 20 megapixels, uh, which I have on, um, I'll upload and put a link into the video so people can look at, uh, which will be good. Um, the other thing I trekked myself to uh, was I actually bought a, a Tesla jacket. Again, the showroom in the UK don't sell them anymore, so I thought I'm going to um, take advantage and, and treat myself to a little Tesla jacket, which I'll wear now, uh, obviously, and when I get my Model S. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, um, it was a fantastic thing. Very, very short video I just thought I'd put up to uh, say it was a fantastic visit to Fremont. Um, I was mega lucky by the fact I saw a Model 3, but that's one of, hopefully one of the things I'm going to see anyway. Um, really, really accommodating in the showrooms. Just like they are in the UK, I found that for certainly the uh, the ones I've been in the UK in the, the Stockport office, absolutely can't do enough for you. Um, and uh, yeah, so I welcome that. If you if you like the video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, what I'll also do at the bottom is my referral code. Uh, now I've gotten a Model S on order, so I really would appreciate if somebody um, do actually you know come to order a car, use my referral code, and obviously they get the the benefits this month of uh, seven hundred and fifty pounds off, uh, and obviously uh, supercharging for life. Um, that will change next month. I think you still get the supercharging for life, but the seven hundred and fifty pound discount goes. But so if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.